Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back. It's been a long time. Wait, was that it? That was it. <laughs> and we are back. And, you know. Some might say. Nah, let's, no. start, let's start over. Okay. <clears throat> Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome to <laughs> another <laughs> episode. That's all you're going to do. Of the Nothing and Everything podcast, where today we will talk a lot of nothing. And a little bit about everything. I don't know. First item up for business today. Talk, <laughs> wait, is this like a Robert's Rules and Order? Who's Robert? No, like the business meeting. That's the way. First item up for business what today. What sort of business Let's you Let's talk got about here. the old business or the new business. No. Let's talk about this new business. <clears throat> Let's talk about, we need like a new tagline. Yeah, you just want to go right into that. Not like, hey, where you been? How's right. it been going? No, Great let's see just you, go Gerald. right into a new tagline Man, because... A new ta- but the problem is, though... Our tagline is so last season. It is season one. Now that we're season two, I feel like it's got to be better. I don't know how you're going to make it better, though. Well... Well, you're saying true to the name, true to the, the, the content, obviously. You got a suggestion? I, I don't. Maybe, maybe our people will have some sort of suggestion. Maybe they will, yeah. By our people, I mean... Well, actually, you know, I I have had some people come up and say, hey, man, when's the podcast coming yep. back out? I've had a few unfortunate souls tell me, too. They're like, hey, I just stumbled across it, and I went back and listened. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you went back and listened to everything. <laughs> you know, one of my son's friends went and listened to, like, he stumbled across it and went back and listened to some episodes. Yeah. And he was like, I can't understand what your dad's saying because his accent's so thick. <gasps> like, what kind of accent does he that, think that you have? I don't know. Like my a, accent. Like a Georgia accent? But even still, my accent is not that thick. Not enough where you can't understand the words that coming out of my mouth. Coming out of my mouth, yeah. Right. Right. No, yeah, I agree. I agree with your son's friend. I feel a little angry right now. Seriously. So. What else makes you angry? I don't know. Lots of things. (laughs) You know what makes me angry? Bad customer service. Oh, that sounded like a... (laughs) Bad customer service. (laughs) Now, why would you bring that up? Well, we were just at a... uh, it's terrible. We were at an, an establishment eating mm. some lunch. Yep. And, you know, it's like this. It doesn't, like, you, I think you have to work to be not nice. Does that make sense? Like, you don't have to yeah. work to be kind. Like, just like a head nod or a, hey, how's it going? Or, you know, whatever. Like, that's not difficult. That's not to work. Make. I think you got to actually work to, like, not make eye contact and make it real awkward. I, th- you know, I think whatever. that's the thing that bothers me is, like, going to, I mean, you pick it. Gas station, coffee place, restaurant, whatever. Somewhere where you got to walk up to something, and there's no. And I don't expect people to be like, "Hey, welcome to so and so." I, you know, but just welcome like, to Good Burger. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to Good Burger. <laughs> Did you watch that? A like, uh, long time ago, yes. Yeah. Um, I, uh, yeah, just it's the like blank. What was that? <laughs> was that your cell phone? Who's calling right now? Oh, maybe somebody started playing something off of my Spotify list, but I don't know why that would have come out loud. My apologies to the dude. Well. As you can tell, not much has changed. <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's just a what, blank What stare. song was that? I don't know. Like I don't Little Einsteins or something? Little Einsteins. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. No, I mean, it's just the like, I'm like, are you ready for me? Like, right. we just Which all is, I need to play. Hey, can I help you? That's Which all I is need. what this guy. Okay, so first, so <laughs> I was we, with you, I we walk into this restaurant today to eat lunch, and this guy is standing behind the counter. First of all, he's wearing like a ski mask, right, or like a like a thermal, like he looked like <laughs> some sort of medieval knight that just took his helmet off, right. So his his whole face is covered up. Except maybe like he, this maybe much, he you know had know? got off his shift at medieval times. Before he, he came right over, man, I have a lot of medieval have times. You been to medieval, medieval? I got a lot of medieval times stories to tell you. Well, let's not let's not talk about that. Okay, right now. let's put that in the so, episode yeah, two. Episode never. So like so. the two two, it'd be like two. Isn't that what they do? Like season two, episode mm. two. So anyway, okay, <laughs> we're at this fine establishment, and the guy's just standing there. He's like opening up little bags or something, and so I'm looking at him. He's not even making eye contact with us. He's not even looking at us. He's just minding his own business. I had to walk up to him and say, sir, are, are you waiting on us? And he was like, yeah. That's just like, yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, Damn. oh, okay. And I'm I'm trying to be nice. I'm like, well, oh, well, thank you. Here's my order. And I'm like, everything in me is just like reach over, 
and give him a high five. Yeah, I'll give him a hug. But I'm like, bring it yeah. why can't you just be nice or just, you know? Yeah. And then I think in my mind, I just need to leave. It like, be I mean, it's just weird, man. And, you know, you get all these people that they're like, you know, I want to be paid more and stuff like that. And I'm fine with people getting paid more. But it's like, just yeah. be kind. Like, act like you, you know, you earn that. Yeah, customer service is out the window. Customer There's a lot of places we go, and they just stand there and look at you, and I'm like, have you not been trained how to do it? Like, is this, is this part of the... I don't know. I don't know. The new standard? I don't know. Now, I'm not really the guy that wants to burn Man, we come out of anger. Down, mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, I don't want to, like, burn down this establishment, you know, and say, oh, I'm so mad at everyone, you know, yeah, blah, yeah. blah. But if I was... Just that one guy. If I was... No. <laughs> if, if I was a manager of a of a establishment yeah. and someone and one of my employees did that to someone I would want to know so I can say hey you know what's going on are you are you cool are you good or do you need some time off yeah, but or, I also you know, think like, that like people aren't on? like told right like, well, they're not yeah. actually trained to say right. this is what you do when right, that person right. walks in yeah yeah you know I'm like yeah. it wouldn't take but a couple minutes I mean some you know whatever that's why I like man, going to some like places where I know people grizzled. do that kind of stuff yeah man we we're coming out hard season two we're punching it's not hard it's like like yeah, we're angry. Like angry, man. Get off my lawn. Oh, speaking of lawn, what have you been doing? <laughs> <laughs> what have you been Crap, doing? I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> for the past, I don't know, man, four I'm taking so much grief about my yard. It, it's about how often I like to well, you manicure it. you all the time, and it really doesn't even look but the like it. It really doesn't. My wife would say because I don't aerate. Um, I'm glad you said that the right way. Aerate. As Some opposed people to say aerate. Aerate? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna aerate my yard. Yeah. You got one of them aerators? What they mistaken? What they what? The, what they mistaken? <laughs> what had happened was. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. Now, I mean, I have probably cut my yard. La- We've been off for like what five or six weeks now. Yeah, I've like probably that. cut it like two times. I just really? kind of quit caring after. Usually after the summer starts winding down. Why? I don't know. It's now like it's a time, lot of work. Man. Going well, to the fall. You think so? You don't aerate. I have before. I don't do it like consistently. We you just know, I need to, we I just straight turn into like my two dads show. You remember that show, my two dads? I do. I, but it, it would be bringing up a completely different show today. That is correct. <laughs> you okay. want to revive that? We'll do a new version. No, you and I. No, no. So um, yeah, what else is going on? I past mean, month. Past month, man, it's been a lot. You know, we haven't been to, able to record because travel, vacations. It was good for us to kind of step back from the microphones a little bit. And I don't. Now we're I don't understand what you mean by that. Stepping back. What do you mean? You don't like you don't like doing the show. No, I I love doing it. I'm oh. just saying, but it was probably good. Hmm. Maybe. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I missed. Every I didn't do much. I mean, we had vacation. Kids are back in school. That's yeah. about it. Hmm. Yeah. How about you? I mean, I feel like I've been doing a lot of, well, I've been smoking a lot of food here lately. Oh, gosh. Because, you know, that's. I'm glad you said food at the end. You know, I finally did, yeah. I finally did a uh, a brisket, fine, you know, like I, yeah. I've been afraid to do a brisket because it's, number one, it's why, expensive. Why are you so afraid of it? Well, because, you, you know, I don't want to ruin $40 worth of food. Dog. You know? oh. So, you know, I want to make sure I do it the right way. And it's just a, it's a hard cut of meat to. To smoke. So. How long did that take? Uh, I smoked it probably sixteen hours. Good night. That's a commitment. Oh, well, it's an electric smoker, so it's not really that much of a commitment. Did your electric bill go up after that? Like, um, no, I don't think so. No, uh-huh. I don't pay the bill. I mean, I I do pay. Wait, the bill. what? <laughs> I'm saying I don't see the bill. Oh, okay. You know, so my wife pays that yeah, stuff. She's like, like, what? Well, it's all online. You know, she said to me one day. She said, if something happened to me and I was gone. You wouldn't yes. even know how to do anything. Let's talk about that. And I said, well, just don't stop payment on anything, and we'll be fine. It'll just keep paying, right? Just keep coming out of the account. I, yeah, uh, so we're similar to that. Like, um, my wife pays probably mo- the majority of the bill. I mean, she pays all the bills, and it's all set up. I was like, I need you to create some kind of document <laughs> that has all the passwords and everything. I know where all this, I know how to get to this stuff, but if she, something... God forbid if the proverbial or actual bus came today, bam! Oh. <laughs> oh, I would need to. Yeah, there's a document that I need to go find. So I need somebody mm. to not hack into my wife's computer and get all that stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I would just be like, dollars. I would probably stop everything online 
and go and like do the whole I'm gonna go cash my check and go go pay cash for everything. I'm gonna stand in line at the electric company with my check my, my checkbook. Yep. Nope. I'm not <laughs> even gonna write a check. I'm paying cash. I'm bringing coins. Oh, don't be that you guy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then today is just, hey, today's bill paying day. But you know, so you could go down to the post office and buy some stamps. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? You know, while you were doing that, while you were getting to the post office or getting to the electric company, you know what you could also do? What? Listen to the radio. <laughs> you know, we were just talking about the radio, which is why <laughs> you bring that up. I, I haven't listened to the radio on purpose in a long time. Really? As a matter of fact, it's aggravating. I get that. Which part is aggravating? Well, listening to the radio. <laughs> I think what I like about the radio is, like, I'm not real current on, like, whatever's the most popular thing right now. You know, like, so I like one of these stations that's, like, more like, I mean, um, one of these mix stations now, they're all out there. Like, they play, like, it, it could be. <laughs> It could be like, you know, pop. It could be hip hop. It could be classic rock. All it could in be, one channel. Yeah, like nah, they bro. play. I forget nah. what they call them. Like, um, there's, nah. there's you got to keep it separated. Oh gosh. <laughs> no, but because I like the fact of like not knowing what's coming next. You know, like that's when you hit shuffle on Spotify. Right, but I still know what's coming if I made the playlist. But you don't. When it gets down to the, I know, but then after a the time songs. though, like, but, but after a while, I'm like, I've heard these songs. Or like, I, you know, I like what I like, and so I make my playlist and listen to it, and I'm like, I still know what's coming. And then after a while, I'm like, eh, I need something else while I'm doing something else. I, I don't understand that. <laughs> You'd rather listen to the same songs over and over. I just get tired of them after a while. Well, but then I like to like, oh, I'm like, I hear something, I'm like, oh man, I haven't heard that in who's, 20 years. Who's like the who's the who's the biggest band right now see, in, in your mind? I, in my mind, yeah. see that's I, I'm my mind is not a good one because I don't know popular music like current popular. Who's music. the most? Do you can you name can you name someone who just won an award at the latest thing? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't even, even know, know what, what it's called. <laughs> what is it called? A Grammy? Grammy award? A Grammy would be music. Who won? Who won I mean, something? Who won a Grammy recently? Like who would have won like the best like rock album or something? I got. I don't know who's the best rock. I don't know who's the best country. I, I don't know. I mean, I hear names out there, but I'm like, but I don't country know. Country like, music. I think it's like um, like who's the? I mean, but who's current? I mean, I'm Blake like Shelton Willie still? Nelson. Like, I mean, like, Willie <laughs> Nelson. <laughs> Definitely not Willie. Nah, but I'm saying like, like is is about Blake Shelton? Is he like Blake's pretty big? What's that guy, Luke Bryan? He's kind of big. Yeah, but I'm saying like bro country though. That, it is bro country. That's not real Someone said something to... like singing, singing pop music with a with a country accent does not make country music. Ooh, and uh, that's kind of true. But like, that's who what it is who nowadays. won the last like rock album of the year? Or I hey, mean, in welcome, my mind, it would be back. like a everyone say a welcome to. <laughs> Austin, our director. He's still Wait, over in the corner. Producer, producer, our producer. See, yeah, he doesn't direct us. He who's, tell us what to do. who's the biggest? Uh, According to Forbes, Forbes. Forbes. Whoa. That's just like money, though, right? This is surprising. Well, there's two. But two what? Um, well, the only group to sell one million album units. Which is platinum. Is anybody selling anything nowadays? It's all streamable. Like how? How do you determine that? I don't know. Ask Taylor Swift. She knows. <laughs> the the Beatles. What? The Beatles? No. They are the most current popular rock band? I've never been a Beatles Okay, fan. but like, okay, go back to like the but last also, Grammys. Also BTS. What is BTS? It's like K-pop. That isn't K-pop it? band. Yeah, Backstreet? Like no. Pop. You should ba- know that. It's Korean pop. <laughs> Cor- I shouldn't. What? Yep. Is that what you? Nope. What is... Wait, BTS is a K-pop What does BTS group? stand for? I feel for? like it's a whole bunch of initials. Behind the scenes? My girls... Uh, Behind the scenes? I don't know. Oh. Uh, my girls played a BTS song, and I go, I've heard that. Like, I didn't know it, but I was like, okay, I've heard that song. Bang Tan Boys? Excuse me? What? Bang Tan Boy? Bang Tan? Bang Tong? Mukbang Boys? <laughs> Mukbang Boys. That's us. Let's start a Mukbang Boys. <laughs> what? Did you just do an accent? Let's <laughs> What's the <laughs> Maybe I did. I'm sorry. <laughs> <sighs> Wait, need, okay, no, no, seriously. Training, like the last, <laughs> it's diversity. Like day. the last day, the last like Grammys. Who was winning like a the rock album of the year? 
Is that even a category anymore? <laughs> yeah, seriously, they're like, mm, this is a... Rock is like, I don't know. Who's, I mean... Is U2 still around? I mean, they are. That would be a bucket list thing, is to see U2 live play um, Where the Streets Have No Name. Mm. That's a great song. I'd love to hear that live and be like, okay, yeah. I, don't wanna, I don't care about the rest of that concert. I want to hear that. That would be pretty cool. Like, I would have said, like, the best rock band of the last, like, 20, 30 years would be, like, Foo Fighters. But, you know, Ooh. the drummer just died. But I'm like, as far as, like, mainline rock and roll. Yeah. You know, like, I'm not talking about, like, electric, you know, po- like, pop rock or, I don't know. Like, I don't even know who, are, like. I, I feel like know. the biggest the biggest music right now that I feel like everyone's listening to and by everyone, I mean, like, young people. Obviously, older people aren't listening to this. But I feel like if I'm ever around a young kid, like a kid in high school, even middle school, they're listening to rap all the time. Yeah. What's that about? Do you listen to rap? I feel like you listen to uh, – every time I get in your car and ride around with you, which is most days, you, it's country music. Like yeah, that's my go-to. My favorite song is that Hunting Land song. Who sings that? Dale something. I just said Dale because it sounds what? like it's country. That's Dustin Lynch. D- oh, going? I was close. Dustin. Oh, That's Dustin a funny Dale. song. Have you heard that song? Nope. It's really funny. <laughs> That's it. Rock album of the year. Who Gra- won the last Grammy one? Award for best rock album last year, 2021, Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters. Oh, okay. wow. Okay. But see, I wouldn't have guessed that. I wouldn't have guessed that they would have been up for an award. Like, who was nominated for that category? And I don't know. I'm always like, I'm kind of... Nominees, ACDC, Black Pumas, Paul McCartney. Never heard what? of Black Pumas. Like, I don't even know who that is. ACDC? Yeah, I'm like, are these guys still... I'm like, are you How, reading from 1989? Is this like a remix album? What, are, <laughs> remix. what is happening? Did you say... Who, who was the last one you said? Uh, you said Paul McCartney? Yeah, ACDC Paul came McCartney. out with an album two years ago. Paul McCartney from that's how That's how, Beatles? like... So that's what nobody's... This is such a small, like, right. listenership. That's what I'm saying is, like, ACDC, who's been around for 40-plus, 50 years. Good night. I was like, oh, there's only four people that we can put in this category because they're true. Ro- I don't, it's just a weird thing. So that's what I'm saying. Like, if I were to go and make a, if I were to go make a Spotify, you know, a playlist right now of hip-hop, which I like, I, nothing would be in the last 15 years probably. Hip-hop? Yeah. 10, 15 years. I couldn't tell you what was popular right now. Like... I mean, I know the big, like, Drake, Kanye, whatever, but, like, I, I think I don't know that I would pick. One of those guys that has Young <laughs> or Lil in front of them, their name, <laughs> Lil, you know, like Lil, Young Kyle, Lil, Lil Gerald. Lil, Lil Gerald. <laughs> Lil Gerald. How would they spell Gerald? However they want. Lil, Ger- <laughs> Lil Gerald. J-U-R-L. Young Kyle, Lil Gerald. We got Maybe that should album. be our new... Mm-hmm. Oh, that sounds so terrible. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, music's Mon- just Mon- funny. <laughs> Lil Gerald. That'll be our album title, Mukbang Boys. <laughs> Lil Ger- And we would just rap with food in our mouths. Just eat stuff and just rap. But we would just cover, like, old songs. Yeah. You know, like, the stuff that we listen to. What What kind of what kind of stuff are you talking about? Don't, don't say know. it. You don't say, say it first. It. I'm not saying you, it. You go first. <laughs> now, didn't you see something recently? Oh, yeah, that kind of... Yeah, kind of start off. We were having some conversations. We're talking about like, uh, you know, I don't watch a ton of television, but I do like some good documentaries. And I went back and watched documentaries. Documentaries. (laughs) And there was a three part. It was on the the Woodstock '99. That just, I mean, it it just happened like you know, (laughs) twenty years ago or whatever. So maybe twenty five. 23 years ago, Um, Mm. which I had forgotten about. But you know, at 99, I was. 23 24 i was 24 years old i remember it happening and that it was a disaster oh that's what was fascinating about it not that it was a great whatever Who but it was it just that? so the big I don't, I don't it was a I weird this, grouping honestly. of people like yeah. just going back on the documentary like i remember one of the first acts was the first act was actually james brown and it, that was part of the story like james the, brown right at it, woodstock 99 woodstock 99 yeah so it was kind of this like well this is weird like uh, but that was part of the story too. Is there was this whole deal of like, he didn't have a signed contract, but they were there ready to play, and the guys were like, "Well, you got a quarter of a million people out there waiting for you." Anyway, it, it's just kind of one wow. of the. It was showing how things were not done well, and it just like completely devolved after that. 
I mean, it was like, <laughs> I think one of the other ones was like, okay, one day, like in the afternoon, like Cheryl Crow played. Okay. Afternoon. That's when everyone goes to get something to eat. <laughs> yeah, but you couldn't get out. I mean, there's a quarter of a million people there. You Cheryl couldn't get out. Crow, all and then that night, that's who they get. Cheryl Corn. 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 Do you remember the band Corn? Do you remember the social media sensation? <laughs> this little kid. The with kid. The whole, what is, does he have like a name or something? Uh, or they corn, just call him the Corn Kid. Corn Kid. Corn is kid. What you search? Yeah. You <laughs> in the in the Google. Yeah. And he comes up. I like, didn't know anything about it until he's like a the week world ago. By storm. Just because he said he likes some corn. How did he, he describe corn? corn? It was a funny way of like what he called it. I don't it. know. He said when he put butter on it, everything changed. Every- <laughs> when I put butter on it, everything changed. And that's everything in life. You put butter on it. Most people in the South, we say that same thing. Mm-hmm. When you put butter on it, everything mm-hmm. changed. Yeah. Everything Us, changed. Paula Dean, everybody. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah. yeah. So, Tell me corn, the, only, the only song I know about corn... <laughs> Wait, a song about corn or a song <laughs> by corn? By corn. Let's name all the songs we know about corn. I don't even know. Jimmy Crack Corn? I, I don't care. <laughs> I, I don't even know the name of the song. All I know is that there was a video at one point, because, you know, we used to watch music videos. And there was a bullet Whatever happened to that, that just went through the whole, you know, I think the song was called Bullet, maybe. By corn? Like a bullet was just going through it, the entire video. One bullet is just flying through all these different scenes. Oh. Now it's like. That one. Now, you know, if you see that, you'd be like, oh, hey, the news is on. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> the news is on. So, <clears throat> anyway, who who else was there? I mean, it was like, this was 99, so this was the height of like, uh, what do they call that, like, new metal? So it was like corn and like Limp biscuit, but like how this was like this new rock sound that was real angry and you know it was kind of frat like rage boy. against the machine kind of thing well or? they talked about rage against the machine but i don't know that they played there but they, they didn't show them in the documentary but anyway it just kept building this like um you know the infrastructure was terrible as far as like sanitation water oh this all that is st- that thing yeah the, oh okay yeah that's the, what okay. i thought this is what we we're still talking oh, about oh yeah right right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. did you move on no i no <laughs> but it was just one of those things that, like, it had been such a, a terrible disaster and it just got worse and worse and worse. And then Sunday night at the closing thing, they thought it would be a good idea to have a candlelight vigil because Columbine had just happened, like, a few months earlier. Wow, that's a long and time instead, ago. instead, the people, they used their fire to set stuff on fire. I mean, there was, like, massive fires all over the campground. You know, and the, the MTV crew was like... You know they were recording all this live, and they're like, "All right, we're out of here. Like this is too dangerous now. We've got to, we've got to no, leave." Nothing says that you really, you're really into something, like just burning setting it, it on down, fire, yeah. setting the whole thing on Man, fire. Man, I love this. Yeah, it's like, yeah. I mean, whatever it is, society, whatever, just burn the whole thing down. That really, you know, I'm still a little angry. Seriously, man, what, what are you wanting to burn why, down today? Why does everybody want to burn stuff down? I don't know. I, don't, I mean, it's I don't like want people to. get together and it's I don't just feel like, that. oh, this is awesome. Hey, let's set fire to stuff." Well, that's the thing. Is like, hey, this is awesome. Let's destroy. Like, I, I right. never got that. That's so. I don't understand that. that. Herd understand riot that. mentality. Man, we do sound like a bunch of old, like, crotchety men. Like, get off our lawn. I mean, your music's terrible. You're burning stuff down. Your just, customer service stinks. I mean, just don't burn stuff down. <laughs> Let stuff live. Don't listen to the radio. <laughs> don't listen to the radio. You might come across something just, that you hadn't heard in a long it, time. Like another Geico commercial or something. I, I get that. No, no, no. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't necessarily like listen for the commercials. I don't need the break. However, <laughs> I do like the idea of, like, going. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just talk about that reference real quick. Austin was like, you know, sometimes when you're watching Netflix, you just want to see a commercial so you can get up and go to the restroom. Yeah. And I was like, says no one ever. Yeah, like, and you also have a, like, you can just go, pause. Yeah, that's why like, you get Netflix, because there's no commercials in but it. But then you got the nice background noise while you're, you know, going to do your thing. You, while you're what? Go get a snack. I don't, I don't understand. I do think it's funny. I know a lot of people, like, make comments about it or they make jokes about it, so this is not an original thought. But it is very funny. And trying to explain to my children, and probably your children as well, is, like, the idea of you know everything is streaming now and it's on demand is you know a long time ago if if my favorite show was on thursday night and i was watching the cosby show and something happened i didn't see it again for seven days right there was no like let's go back and watch all this season now i might have had my vhs or betamax tape betamax yeah my dad was convinced that betamax was the way to go but every time Mm. we go to blockbuster we're like oh there's no betas here Mm. 
but you know, like they don't understand. Right. Like, why couldn't you just? I'm like, well, it wasn't there. Like it just yeah. wasn't in the universe yet. Right. So like yeah. that, and like you know, making a mixtape from the radio. They don't even know. I remember telling everybody to be quiet. My song was about to, to come on. I just in. called. I used to call in. <laughs> Be like, hey man, play this song. I want to send this song out to my girlfriend. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. And then the DJ would be talking over the beginning. I'm like, that's mm-hmm. my favorite part. Yeah. Oh. I'm like, what are you doing? Like a DJ. What is that? Uh, I'm a DJ now, Dad. Yeah. I was about to say something. What was I gonna say? I don't know. We're talking about something. I don't know either. Oh, do you remember how long commercials used to be? Like a television or radio or both? Television. Two minutes, two seconds. You remember that? Who used no. to say that? Two minutes, two seconds. We'll be back in two minutes and two seconds. It was like two the, minutes, two seconds. Yeah, it that, was that like, sounds familiar. But who said yeah, that? Yeah, it's that one guy from like the dating game or something, or Love Connection or something. You Wink, come up? Wink Martindale. <laughs> <laughs> not not that far back. Oh, it's going like to the nineties, like Tom Bergeron. No, oh gosh, no. I'm just trying to think of like hosts. Who's the host? That would be like a dream job for me. What? To host I love like what I'm doing, game? and it's a dream. No, 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 like, like being a host of something. I oh. used to like look at those guys and be like, eh, they don't have any talent. They're not doing anything like a, yeah. you know, what? But I'm also like, I feel like I could do that. Like, yeah, yeah, you know, like a game show host. I'd, I'd love to do that. So you're, you're like, like a Drew Carey kind of. Yeah, it was similar. <laughs> a lot of ways. I feel like a game show host would be awesome though. No. Jim Lane. Mm, Who? No. The dating game. The dating Jim game. Lane, it was the dating know. game, but I don't think that's him. That's see, be name. back in two minutes and two seconds. Maybe Robert something. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Robert. At, at this point, we lost half of our uh, yeah, demographic here. People, they're like, what? I wish we had some commercials. So Austin could go to the bathroom. <laughs> like, I wish we had some sponsorship. That's what I'm saying. This Nothing and Everything podcast is brought to you by the Nothing and Everything podcast. But us. Essentially. Yeah. This That's is all we have to offer. This is this is what we, we support got. ourselves. This is what we got. Until though, until you want to sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like like you like you're the guy on the side of the road now. It's like, hey, give me some money. <laughs> start start <laughs> GoFundMe. It's not that bad. Hang on. Now. <laughs> oh, you want to talk about that? Like ever, people starting GoFundMe's of, no, for ever, weird reasons. Th- this guy comes up to me one day, and he, uh, well, actually, there's a there's a comedian. I can't remember which comedian said this, but he says he hates walking by those guys that hand out stuff because he's like, oh, it's Mitch like, Hedberg. He said it, he's like, here, you throw this away. <laughs> 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 they hand you a flyer that's like right, if you're like right. downtown hey, or something. Throw this away for me. Yeah. So, but I I was at a stoplight at an intersection, <laughs> huge intersection, and you could tell there's a couple guys working each intersection, and they're not. Oh, like, you talking about like, the guys that are at, that are handing out the little flyers? Yeah. I've, so have you guy, talked to them before? No, I've never spoken to them before. Oh, I talked to them all the time. Um, <laughs> you know, like sometimes there's like the kid he has like a football uniform on or something like that, and he's like he's like a selling bottles of water, like a, like a prop. Hey, this guy's trying to go to states. Like, yeah. What is states? Why? What kind of football does he play? Does he play for a school? Like he should. States. Everything should be paid for. So he's like, help them. They need fifty thousand dollars. I'm like, fifty thousand dollars. What do you think we got, Jesse? Nobody's gonna get that. <laughs> oh man. <clears throat> so anyway, <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, every now and then, I'll I'll give. You know something to those people, but if if they're trying to sell me something, I'm like, nah, I'm not really interested in that. You don't just buy random stuff off the side. No, of the road. I'm not buying like a rose. You know, my wife's gonna be like, hey, where'd you get this from? This side of the road. Pay twenty five dollars for this one rose. What's more romantic than that? I don't know. There's no. a lot of there's a lot of young aspiring business people out there. Yeah, I guess I guess so. That's the new thing on Shark Tank, right? That's the- <laughs> Shark Tank. Shark Tank. I know what Shark oh, Tank like, is, you but you're like, that's the new thing on Shark I couldn't Tank. I that- understand what you were saying because you were talking during your laugh. It was like real high do? pitch. Like, <laughs> like, yeah. like, like a dolphin got dropped off in here or something. <laughs> <A> dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> like this. <laughs> <laughs> that's incredible. Oh, gosh. Man, it's so good to be back behind the, is, the microphones. It is good to be back um, and talking about nothing. And a little bit of everything. Yeah, saying, yeah. So I guess we need a new tagline. Yeah, we need suggestions probably. So maybe though. in the we comments. We didn't bring, really bring anything to the table. We brought nothing to the table. We just brought the old stuff to the table. So give us something new, people. 
people out there. Man. Isn't it like your family that's always, they always have some sort of critique of the show? Uh, I mean, I have some extended family that watch the show. But you got a brother that watches the show, right? I don't know that anybody watches. I think they listen. Or, or listens. Um, yeah, I mean, they say they do. Or like they'll text me and be like, hey, so, you know, they'll hear it. And then I'll forget that we said it. You know, Let's give him a shout out, man. Give him a shout I'm out to I'm not giving brother. a shout out to my, not yet. Why? Because I feel like we can You give friends. a shout out. What's his name? Tyler. Tyler. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the show, man. He's, he's probably done with it now. Yeah, he's probably like. Oh, I think some of his man, children listen, and then our like other extended family listen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, that's sad. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, it's been a great show. Oh Thanks man, so it has been spectacular. It's so good to be Season back. Season two, episode one. Oh, We're back. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> I don't know what that was. All right. Thanks everybody. See you next time. Mm-hmm.